Hey guys, welcome back. If you saw my last video where I connected my Zeus to the FCA system, um, actually I didn't show all that stuff. I just went out to the dealership after I got it all connected. We tested it out on a 2018 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, it might've been a Grand Cherokee. We were able to access that system. Not everyone has a Zeus. Not everyone is gonna spend the money on a Zeus. So can you do this with a different scan tool? I have my modus i didn't have the current update in my modus but i recently got that so it is now updated i'm going to show you guys how to connect that to the altus drive first and then in a second video i'll show you how to connect that to the fca system so first we're going to connect the scan tool to the altus drive one thing you will need to have is wi-fi in your shop connect your scan tool to your wi-fi i've already connected mine to my wi-fi i'm at home right now but for demonstration purposes it'll work fine and what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna walk you through the settings that you need to use to uh, access that. We're also gonna have to go on a website, um, register on there. So from a computer, uh, we'll go to altusdrive.com. And if you don't have an account already, you're gonna create an individual account. Now this is gonna look very similar to the ProDemand setup, but you're not gonna use your shop ProDemand account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit get started it's going to take us to this page right here um, you will enter your information first name last name username and password it cannot be the same username as your shop account you'll create it um, you'll get a confirmation email and go ahead and click that you'll come back in here and log in the logins up at the top right of the screen click on that we'll log in now, since I already have scan tools um, associated with this account, stuff is showing up on the screen. You can do most of the newer scan tools, um, even the ones from several years ago, the Solus Ultra might be able to, that's kind of like borderline, but the Modus Ultra, the Modus Edge, the Virus, all of those scan tools, um, and then the new ones, the Apollo, the Triton, the Zeus, those can all be connected. And I think even the P1000, the one that can do cars and motorcycles, um, the smaller one, it's like the size of an ethos, that one should be able to do this as well. So in the bottom right here, there's gonna be a button that says profile. We're gonna click on that, open the profile manager. Now you're gonna have to go through some of these steps as well for the FCA program um, to link your account to that. Now over here on the bottom left, we're gonna to go to device management. And as you can see, I have my Zeus, my thermal imager and the shops modus, but I wanna add my personal modus. Now that I have uh, 19.4 on there, I think I had 18.4 on here before. The Altus came out, maybe I had 18.2, I can't remember. But I just recently upgraded it so I could get the FCA program and the Altus drive linked to this scan tool. So we need to add another device. So we need the serial number, the pin number, the code, and device nickname. So let's jump over to the scan tool and I'll show you where to find that. So once you have your scan tool in front of you, um, as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi up here. It shows a solid signal, it's not flashing. If it's flashing, then there are, I believe, stuff available, but you have to enter the password. It's a common issue for these to lose the password for some reason, both the ones in my shop do it. And uh, I'm, ho I'm working on a, a fix for that. So what we're gonna do is go into tools. And then this get connected button is for the Altus drive and the FCA system. So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna have a QR code, which I think links you to the website, serial number, pin number, code number. So this is the information that we're gonna enter in over on the other screen. And as you're entering these in, if it is in a, a capital format, make sure to enter that. I didn't have uppercase and lowercase, all of mine were uppercase, but make sure to uh, use that, that case correctly. And this is gonna be personal modus edge. And the reason I have the shop modus ad attached to this account is I'm the shop foreman. When the guys scan stuff in the system, I like to see what they're scanning. Um, it's easier for me to pull it up on my laptop, see what codes they have, start doing my research before I go over to the vehicle. We're gonna hit save. 
it says my profile has been updated. So that should have added my modus to the cloud. And I'm not sure if I need to scan a new vehicle before it'll update. I'm just going to go back to the home page. And let's go to previous data. I don't know if it's still in here since I updated it. Yeah, we don't have anything in here. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to scan the demo vehicle that is built into the into the scanner. We'll do the Chevrolet. We'll do a full system scan and we'll see if that updates to the cloud. Okay, we'll do a full code scan. This is gonna scan every single module and this is the uh, procedure you need to do in order to have your scans automatically updated to the cloud. If you scan a individual module and you want that code list, you have to hit the snapshot button and then it takes a screenshot of it and uploads that to the cloud instead. So if you want the full code list in a PDF format, then it's best to do a full scan. Okay, that scan is done. Now, just to make sure it saves it, I'm gonna hit the save button. I know on my Zeus, as soon as it completes the scan, it uploads it, but it may not be the case for the, uh, the non-Zeus platform. So we'll hit the save button. That should save the whole thing. Let's jump back over to the home page and, and see if that's in our history. Okay, it does show it in the history. Oh, actually my uh, previous history for saved data shows up on here still. Um, just my vehicle data was not in there since the update. So it does show a cloud. So some of this stuff may have been uploading already. Let's jump back over to the Alta system on the website and check to see if that stuff went through. Okay, that did show up on here twice um, because I hit that save button. So it did automatically save one copy of it. Um, when it first came out, I think you had to hit the save button. Um, I know that my Zeus has a notification that pops up that's easy to see that says uh, information saved. So we can click on this. You have to click again. It'll open it up. It'll have a full code scan. This is a very simple format for you to email to your customers or um, to the insurance company or to print out if you want to print it out. Um, it shows each and every single module listed if it had codes. Um, the VIN, if you hooked it up and did a uh, automatic VIN uh, decoding, then it'd have the full VIN. And then down here we have all the codes, including the uh, generic OBD2 codes. So at this point, even if you didn't want to open it, you can get a link. You can send it via text message. I'm not sure. You probably have to have an account linked. Oh, this is probably if you open the... Uh, this website from your phone, you can do it that way. You can email it, you can copy it to the clip, uh, clipboard. So this other button here moves it to the shop files instead of under my files. Um, this is a section if you want your customers to be able to view it without all of the details and notes that maybe you typed in there. Um, so if you type in there that uh, the customer's an idiot and didn't change his oil soon enough, you don't want your customer seeing that. Um, you shouldn't be typing that anyways. You can you can phrase that stuff a little bit differently. But if you share it with this, it says right on here, this provides access to a file without all the details and comments. And then the star probably adds it to your favorites, which I don't know if I have anything in here. No, I haven't saved anything to my favorites. Um, so what I typically do, and I went over this in the Altus drive system is I will, let me go to a vehicle that I have a full VIN on. I will do a code scan, a full full health report. And then instead of researching that code with the scan tool, um, especially since not all the scan tools have the intelligent diagnostics at my shop, I just copy the VIN over. I'll open this up, open pro demand. I can paste the VIN. So under the vehicle selection, click VIN number, Paste the VIN, look it up. It decodes it. Now, there's not a confirmation that pops up on the screen here. Uh, it does decode it up at the top. So once that's done, you can hit use this vehicle. 
And then I could come in here and enter the codes that I found on that vehicle. So I had a theft code, P1260. Now this was a vehicle that I put a new instrument panel in. Um, it wasn't properly configured. I had to go in and access the path system, reset parameters before I could uh, learn the new keys. Now, one thing I just noticed is when I scan stuff from the Zeus, it'll ask me if this is a pre-scan or a post-scan. And that lets me uh, decipher whether, you know, this is the initial contact with the vehicle or I'm scanning it again after I've repaired everything. Um, the MODIS, I don't see that feature on here. Um, maybe I have to be connected to a real vehicle and not just using the demonstration vehicle, but I'll mess around with it more this week. We'll find out for sure. And hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll pop up on there, but this may be an old enough platform that it doesn't have that extra button for me to, to decipher that. And I can tell in the Altus system, if I click on this Ford Explorer down here in the keywords, it says pre-scan. And if I open this up, it says pre-scan right on the screen. Um, so this is going to show up on the printout, the stuff you send over to the insurance company, whereas the Suburban does not have that information. Um, it just says vehicle system report, no pre-scan post scan designation. And one more thing to add before I go, if you are using the search feature and you want to search your files and say that you're like, oh, I remember I had another vehicle with the same code and I can't remember what I did. Um, so say that I wanted to look up the anti-theft code that was in this Explorer. If I punch in P1260 and hit enter, nothing comes up. That's because the search feature is case sensitive. So if I put a capital P there, it shows up fine. Even without the P, it shows up. And I have another vehicle that had that code. I actually don't remember this other vehicle. Um, but if, if I needed to reference that code back to another vehicle, I can find it, get the VIN number, go back to my shop management system, pull that ticket up and go, okay, what did we do to this vehicle? that fix that code. So that is a benefit of uh, the search feature in the Altus system. And like I said in my last video, they are constantly improving this system. It is fairly new. Um, it has several areas where it could grow on. And I, I think that they are working on that. And they probably have plenty of that stuff in development way ahead of this video coming out. So um, I hope to see some new features in the future. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. If you guys have any questions or comments, put those down below. I'll try to get those answered for you. If I can't help, then sometimes it's best to call the Snap-on Tech Line, see if they can help you. Sometimes they can get a rep out to you, and that'll be a little faster than playing a uh, comment tag back and forth. So I think the next step is going to be connecting this modus to where I can scan the FCA vehicles. It's always nice to have multiple tools in the shop that can do the same thing. Um, if I'm not there, then one of my guys can grab my Modus rather than my Zeus, um, connect to one of those vehicles, and I don't have to worry about my, you know, eleven or twelve thousand dollar scan tool getting damaged. I'd much rather use my three or four year old Modus that has depreciated over the years instead of that Zeus. So in the next video, I'm going to be connecting this to the FCA system. Hopefully, that goes over well. I won't be able to test it until I get back to one of those vehicles, but we'll see how it goes. Um, if you have questions or comments on the Altus system, put those down below. I'll try to answer those as quick as I can. If not, then I will uh, direct you to the experts over at Snap-on Tech Support. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.